Today's topic is going to be an introduction on linking Cam Editor to Sigma Select. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Cam Editor is a feature of MotionWorks IC3 which simplifies the implementation of electronic camming in the controller. Cam Editor makes it easy to create CSV cam tables, generate dynamically changing cam profiles, create cam blend profiles, and export motion profiles to Sigma Select. In this video, I'm going to create a link between Cam Editor and Sigma Select. This allows Cam Editor waveforms to be used as Sigma Select motion profiles. Here's a quick preview. A link can be set up between Sigma Select and Cam Editor to allow motion profiles from Cam Editor to be used in Sigma Select. To set up the link, the Connect to CE button needs to be pressed in Sigma Select. Sigma Select then waits until the Export YSS Formatted CSV button is pressed in Cam Editor to upload the motion profile. Now let's go through this in more detail. Sigma Select is Yaskawa's servo motor sizing software. An important part of servo sizing is the servo motion profile. Traditionally, complex profiles are approximated as trapezoidal moves. This, however, is not as accurate and in some cases may result in an improperly sized motor. Yaskawa's server motor sizing software, Sigma Select, can be connected to Cam Editor for the most accurate sizing results. I am using version 1.0.5.2. I will start by using a profile not created with Cam Editor to show the differences between a trapezoidal move profile representation and the actual motion profile. Before a motion profile can be created in the Sigma Select software, the Load Editor tab needs to be filled in. I have already filled out the information for sizing a motor for a mechanical hole punch application. Now the motion path can be added into the profile editor. For simplicity's sake, I have already created the motion path for the hole punch. Once the profile is added, the motor results tab will be populated with motors that are suggested for the application. I am going to select the SGM-SV-25A motor and move to the motor detail tab. The torque and speed curve shows me that the RMS and peak values both lie within the motor's capacity, so the motor will work for the application. Now I'm going to go through and show the result using the motion profile that was built using Cam Editor. To import a Cam profile from Cam Editor, you need to make sure that the Cam Editor is running and that a Cam profile is loaded. I have already loaded the hole punch Cam profile that was used in the previous videos. Back in Sigma Select, I will go to the Profile Editor tab and select the Import Profile selection from the Options menu. Here I can either import a motion profile from a CSV file or receive the motion profile from Cam Editor. In this case, I'm going to connect Sigma Select to the Cam Editor to receive the motion profile. Before I can connect to Cam Editor, I need to make sure that the units are set correctly. For this example, the units need to be set to millimeters, seconds, and Newtons. To start the link, click the Connect to Cam Editor button and then go to Cam Editor and click on the Export YSS Formatted CSV button. The button turns green when the Cam Editor has finished connecting to the Sigma Select program. Back in Sigma Select, you will see the Cam profile. Now you can go to the Motor Results screen and choose a motor that would fit your application. The SGMSV 25A seems appropriate and is still selected from before. Now if I go to the motor detail screen, I can see where the intermittent and continuous torque values sit on the torque and speed curve graph. You can see how the RMS and peak values are in about the same place as the original approximation, but this new profile from Cam Editor is more accurate. So what if the motion profile is changed in Cam Editor? Since a connection has been established between the two programs, the change is transferred into Sigma Select. So if I change the curve type here to polynomial, and then press the Export YSS Formatted CSV button, the motion profile will be updated in Sigma Select. Since the curve type has been changed, the Motor Results screen updates as well. The Motor Details tab then shows the updated torque and speed curve graph. Notice that the polynomial curve type resulted in higher peak values. You can see, therefore, how changes to the profile in Cam Editor are reflected in Sigma Select and an accurate sizing result is obtained. To disconnect the Cam Editor from Sigma Select, all you need to do is click the Disconnect from Cam Editor button in the Sigma Select Profile Editor. The status should then show that the monitoring has stopped. 
The cam editor will also be disconnected when the Sigma Select software is closed. To see other features that have been included in the cam editor, please view the other cam editor videos. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of Moshworks IC3 and try out these features yourself with the 30-day demo.